Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. The purpose of today's video is I will be doing a tutorial on how to clean your Yeezy V2 Zebras. So I purchased these shoes worn uh, or used, whatever you want to call it, on purpose with the intent of bringing them back to life and cleaning them because I thought they were a good price, you know, I got them for a really, really good price and I figured there's nothing really that I can't clean over here so I figured I'd show you guys my process of how I would uh, clean my Zebras. So um, yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, so having a quick look at the shoes before I clean them. As you can see, the upper is really dirty. See, the thing is, these are so white and the lighting is really hard to see. But look at the sole, they're dirty all over. Have a look at the bottom, very, very dirty, all yellow. Especially the back of the shoe, very, very dirty. And just um, basically all over, the shoe is dirty on this upper. The laces are extremely dirty. It might be a little bit hard, a little bit hard to see in the videos, but the upper is really, really dirty. As you can see, there's a big stain here. Very, very dirty, all over so on. Um, Let's get to the cleaning process. For the purpose of today's video guys, I will be using Force Field Sneaker Shoe Care Kits. Um, this is my first time using this product. Usually, I'm accustomed to using Crep or uh, Jason Mark, but I thought I'd give it a go with this one. If anyone's wondering, I purchased these from Foot Locker and the kit is about $40, which includes the usual shampoo, cleaner, towel, and a brush. There's two sorts of brushes. One's a bit softer, one's a bit harder. So obviously, the soft one's for the upper, so it doesn't damage it, and the harder one's for your soles. Having a look inside, basically this is what I get. This is the uh, sneaker shampoo, which you do as you usually would, just add a little bit of water, hot water. And um, you get a sneaker protector as well, which I didn't know. So after you finish your cleaning your shoes, they dry up, spray with this, and um, it becomes waterproof. And these are the two different types of brushes, guys. This is over the harder brush, harder bristle, and then you get the softer brush, which uh, as I mentioned, you would use for the upper mainly. Alright guys, beginning the cleaning process, a lot of people usually like to take their shoelaces out, but I just leave them in because after I finish the cleaning the shoe, I'll chuck them in the washing machine. You'll see the purpose of that later. I've got a shoe tree inside. You don't necessarily have to have one. It just helps the, when you're cleaning the shoe, the whole shape, so it's a bit harder up there. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. So to start off, I'll be using the soft bristle brush uh, for the upper. One thing to remember, to always be safe, never go in an up and down motion when you're scrubbing the shoe. Always go in a circular motion to avoid ripping the primer knit. I have done that before. Basically what happened is just the primer started coming out and then it just basically damaged the shoe all over. But the process is very simple. I'm not gonna use a bowl. I'm just gonna pour some water over the brush simply, add the solution and start scrubbing. Alright guys, now to clean the sole of the shoe, I'll be using the harder brass which will really dig into all that dirt and um, yeah, let's do it. Alright guys, so if I get this uh, microfiber cloth which was in the sneak, sneaker cleaning product, give it a quick wipe just to see and just on the initial wipe you can already see how much cleaner the shoe is, like just the scuff marks and the dirt marks that were over there already getting rid of it. If you look at the upper, it's looking cleaner already and the sole on the first initial wipe, not too bad. So I'm going to quickly go over the shoe one more time really fast and I'll let you know the uh, second process of the cleaning. Alright guys, so we have finished the first stage of cleaning these by going over with the force field cleaning product. Now the next step is to chuck these in the washing machine and I'll show you the way which I use and I yes, I have used it previously on a pair of Yeezys so I know for a fact they won't get damaged. Let's do it. Alright guys, so I just cleaned the second shoe in the exact same way I cleaned the first ones and I'll show you guys. So what we're going to do before we put the shoes in the washing machine 
all you need is a cotton pillowcase any pillowcase will do it doesn't really matter on the color and what you simply do is chuck the shoes in there I took the insoles out before I'm chucking the shoes in the wash just in case they don't get ruined but if you want to wash your insoles as well it's completely fine too and back to the laces part I said a lot of people take them out I just leave them in they just get cleaned along with the shoe I've never had an issue with that so um yeah guys basically we're just going to chuck the shoe in the pillowcase and uh get to it All right guys, after we've done that, we're gonna chuck both shoes in the washing machine, tied up in the um, pillowcases. One, two, chuck them in, close the machine. Real good. Um, you can chuck whatever you want in there, washing powder, washing liquid. Uh, for now, I'm not gonna put anything in there, just gonna do it by itself, because I feel like the sneaker product, which we've um, used tonight, provides enough chemicals and it'll just probably all wash it combine itself in the wash what I'm gonna do is do a quick wash for 30 minutes let me just focus this so quick 30 minute wash on about 400 spin and 30 degrees I'm not gonna do a cold because I feel like if I do it a little bit hotter it gets more dirt out so um yeah I'm gonna chuck the machine on and show you guys the results after all right guys so the shoes have finished as you can see, they have hopped out of the bags, but that's all right. Let's have a look what the first shoe looks like after the wash, guys. Look at that. They look absolutely beautiful. Very, very clean, no stains whatsoever. The bottom remains a little bit yellowish, but at least all the dirt is gone. Now let's have a look at some shots, how they look like outdoor with better lighting. Alright guys, as you can see, the shoes came out beautiful. If you can remember, all those stains that were around this area, they're all completely gone. Minor ones you can see. In my opinion, you can't really see anything. And if you remember, the laces were extremely, extremely dirty. Now, if I focus on the laces, they are beautiful. Look at that, pure white. Upper is very, very clean. Midsole, if you guys remember, all the scuffs, the midsole is amazing. Look at that, clear white. Like I said, the sole's yellow, but that's normal. It's gonna yellow, but look at it, it's clean. Even the boost, very, very clean. Obviously, it's gonna be permanent, but the so look at the shoe, it's beautiful, 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 all white. A lot better condition than I received it. I am very, very happy with this process, guys. So yeah, the uh, sneaker cleaner, which I used, did a good job pre the, pre the washing machine, but guys, always chuck your shoes in the wash. I've never ever had an issue. I've chucked very, very expensive shoes in the wash and they've always come out really, really nicely. And look at that. And what's crazy is that they're basically dry. I could wear them right now if I wanted to because the machine, you know, rinsed them and dried them at the end. But um, very, very beautiful, guys. I'm really, really happy. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my cleaning process of the uh, V2 Zebras. It was my first time using the Foot Locker Cleaner, Full Shield. Uh, for $40, I mean, you get a lot, especially with the um, protector for waterproof which i will be adding after but um yeah guys i thought the shoes turned out really really nicely um especially the uh before they looked really really dirty but uh, let me know what you think in the comments below uh what do you guys use to use your sneakers and if you had to rate what the shoes look like out of 10 you know cleanness wise i'd give them a eight and a half nine out of ten let me know what you guys reckon are uh, below in the comment section thank you for watching